backyard baseball cards. We're just bringing to you guys a brief introduction of a baseball glove we just ordered in. I'm going to give you guys our pros and cons and our initial thoughts on the glove here. I'm going to go ahead and have my buddy Perry right here take it away with you guys. So I ordered the, the Academia Pro Series, soft series. Uh, it's a 13 inch H web. Um, I bought it, one, because, I mean, it looks cool. I always bought Rawlings before. I've never even ventured out. So I went with the Academia because I had never heard of it. It was steer hide. I got it on Just Gloves Bundle and Save Deal. Um, really good. So I got the steer hide. Um, it's a little stiff right now. So I'm gonna show you guys how to break everything in. Um, it has a nice deep pocket on it, as you can see here. So we have Joe's Mizuno. That's uh, 12 and seven, uh, 12 and three quarters. So you can, you can tell kind of the difference. It's a little wider here, the deep pocket. Yeah, and one thing you'll notice here on these gloves is that um, this one, they're both advertised as deep pockets. They do make these gloves and also deep pockets, regular pockets, and I don't think they do make, but if they do, they probably shouldn't make outfield gloves in shallow pockets, but I know the infield gloves they do. Um, so one thing you notice about these gloves is that my glove specifically, I know is for baseball. His is also specified for baseball as well. However, his inside of his pocket is a little bit wider and um, I'm not sure if the webbing is 100%, but his might open up just a hair, a hair bigger. Mm -hmm. um, this one here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably use for baseball and softball. Um, on his glove, he's gonna pr primarily use it for, um, for softball. Um, I got this one here in the 12 and 3 quarters because I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it for both, and I don't want too big of a glove in the outfield. Um, you know, because I also have a another glove for that as well. Um, you know, on that Academo glove, they do make it in different webbings and different sizes from 11 and a half. They make it in 12 and three quarters as well, both with a modified T web, and the 11 and a half they make it with an I web design as well. This exact glove right here. We've also seen in a 11 and a half and a 12 and three quarters. So the exact the exact glove that's on Academia's uh, AcademiaPro.com. Um, where this one here for retail price is $210. So that's on Academia's website. But on Just Gloves with the bundle, the bundle and save one, it was $109. So that's what I ended up getting it for. Yeah, so they're really good gloves. You know, for what you're getting, you're getting an amazing glove at an amazing mm -hmm. price. So you can't go wrong with these. Um, like he said, you know, they're made out of steer height leather, so they're gonna last you a really long time. Um, they're gonna have the H-Web design. They're all, of course, they're gonna, they're gonna make gloves that are in higher quality of this, and it's, it, it all comes down to what your use is for the glove. Yeah, so the steer height, it, it's, it's really well built and it but it is very stiff so it says on the website that it's supposed to be soft and basically almost game ready but as you can see i i have i have strong hands and this isn't really game ready do you, do you so really though? do you really though yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so one thing is about you know they but, do. Uh, okay. so another thing that i've seen that's another con uh to me is I, I put two fingers in the pinky hole and uh, compared to the other gloves, to some of the Mizunos, I feel like the, the, the hand hole is pinky hole. pretty shallow right here, the pinky hole, it, it, it's real tight. So uh, that's really the only thing I see. Uh, it was also made in China. I'm not too big on that. Um, and the laces here on binding are starting to fray slightly. And I just got this out of the thing. I'm about to cut the tag off. Yeah. So, and also the um, and also one other thing on his glove too. The um, the the welting in the inside, not the welting. Sorry, the inside of the uh, the palm, the, the interior of the glove is made out of like a pleather as well. Um, it's not made out of an actual, I guess you can call it like yeah. a cape leather, like inside. other companies and all that stuff. It, it does have uh, kind of a fake fur inside of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it, it's kind of soft, but you, you obviously can tell that it's, I mean, 
it, it, it's not very high quality, but I feel like it'll it it'll last me years. And uh, the pleather in here also has the the little holes in it for the the moisture for the breathing. Yeah, breathing, and it is pretty soft in the inside. Yeah, so um, I, I pulled up this glove right over here just to kind of give an idea of the material that it's made of. This is my softball glove. This one here is in a, this is an 11 and 3 quarter inch glove. Um, one thing about this glove that I feel might be easier to break in than the Academo glove. This was also a, a, this was a US deer hide leather. However, the outside on the exterior of the glove, you might, can probably see that it's going to have a little bit of like, like, it's like, it looks like it's stamped all around the inside on the edges here. So with that being stamped a little bit, it might make it easier to close and stuff like that. So, you know, that's one thing to know. Um, so it all comes down to, you know, how you break in the glove. It's all your personal preference. There's no right or wrong way to break in the glove. People do hot water methods. People put them in steamers. People put them in the oven. People put them in microwaves and run them over cars, you know, do good old fashioned ways, just play cash with it, put a rubber band over the glove with the baseball inside of it or a softball and just kind of just let it sit like that. Yeah, so I've, I've broken, mini gloves this is the one that i played baseball with in high school so this is my rawlings i've had this for probably 13 14 years uh great glove gold glove um so as this is how we're going to try to break the academia in yeah. too and you know so, one thing to know too, nice guys. Infill glove can you see that glove one more time so one thing to know too, this one, yours yours uh, one thing to know too with these gloves is like you know this glove here is the Rollins Gold Glove, and a lot of people think you need to spend like a good two, three hundred dollars on a baseball glove to have a decent glove. I mean, this, he's had this glove since high school, and this glove here now is maybe about one hundred and twenty to one hundred and thirty dollar baseball glove. It's an amazing glove. It works well. It's gonna do everything it needs to do for what you're gonna use it for. I mean, these gloves are recommended for high school recreational use and stuff like that. If you're gonna be doing college baseball, then you, know, you want to get into like the better steer height leather gloves or the Kip leather gloves as well. But for what you're probably going to need it for, for anything recreational or just like weekend baseball, that is more than enough. If you're playing college, like I say, every day, practicing every day, then, you know, you might want to step it up a notch. Yeah, pretty much any rollings can't go wrong with that. Uh, I ventured out slightly only because I like the look of it. I like the logo. I had never heard of it before. I wanted to do a video on it. I wanted to check it out, see how it breaks in, see what kind of longevity we can get out of it playing a few games doing catch uh stuff like that so uh i guess let's uh start breaking it in